All right, Lance, let's talk about Jameis Winston. You have been telling us since the summer that you believe in Jameis. Jameis has 12 touchdowns, only three interceptions. But I think you may agree with what I'm going to say. Is it time to let Jameis cook? so to say, <laughs> and maybe open up the offense. Sean has been rather conservative. They've won games, but is it time to start letting Jameis be Jameis? Well, it's ironic that you say let Jameis cook because it started with, you know, let Russ cook. But <laughs> uh, look, man, I think it is time as well, but the goal is to win games. It's not to lead the National Football League in touchdowns. It's not to lead the National Football League in yards. It's to do whatever it takes any given week to win the football game. We all love to see the ball thrown way down the field, a lot of touchdown passes. But if we have to run the ball to win and, and rely on our defense, I'm totally okay with that. And I know Sean is okay with that. So as fans, as analysts, I think we need to be patient. Um, but as long as we're winning games, then we shouldn't really worry about those types of numbers because the only number that matters is the one in the win column. Lance, let me ask you, you were in the locker room with Sean Payton. In the last few years, the Saints have been fantastic following their bye week. Going back to 2017, in the four games after a bye week in each season, that's 16 games total, the Saints are 15-1 and one in those 16 games. I don't know if you all were that good coming out of a bye, but I always remember you all being pretty good after a bye. Right. Why is that? Uh, honestly, I, I don't know. I, I, I know that immediately after the bye, guys are usually fresher, uh, both mentally and physically. They're ready to get back to work. Um, but usually Sean has the guys in a mind frame that, that it's time to go on a run. Um, and, and what's happened is in the past, but now we got to focus on what the big goal is, and that's doing whatever it takes to win a division championship, position yourselves for the playoffs, and then go on a run for the, for the Super Bowl. So um, it, I think it's a lot to do with coaching, but a lot to do with guys buying in and being ready to get back to work and excited about the challenge ahead each and every week. Yeah, rested, rejuvenated, and ready to go. Right. He is Saints Hall of Fame wide receiver Lance Moore. And that was Fletcher Mackle alongside Lance. Be sure to stick with us here at WDSU because we will bring you live coverage all this evening leading up to the moments before kickoff. So from right here at the WDSU studio to Lumen Field in Seattle, Washington, our Saints on 6 analysts will give you their predictions on what to possibly expect tonight as the Saints take on the Seahawks. Coverage begins tonight on WDSU News.